Hey, good morning, Mary. Uh, my name is Tom. I'm the one you rented the RV from. Uh, thank you for doing that, by the way. Uh, I wanted to give you a tour of your bullet that you're staying in this weekend, uh, just to kind of, you know, alleviate any quick, easy problems, something that maybe is as easy as watching this video and figuring out. Um, I will be out of town, so I will not be able to come help. Uh, however, I'm a, I am only a phone call away, and I'll make sure that you have my number before your reservation starts. Um, so I've got the whole thing set up. It's already leveled for you. It's already uh, hooked up in place. The water hose I have right now is too short, but before you arrive, I will have a new water hose, so you'll be, you'll be fully hooked up. So let's walk in and check this thing out. Okay, so as you notice, first walking in, you got your mat here. Under your kitchen, there's a Keurig and some lights and stuff if you want to play with that um over here is your main control panel i don't know your extent of camping or camping knowledge but i like to go through this stuff uh this switch the glide room this is for your slide um you will not need to mess with that the awning this is a power awning um out here it is lit um as you can see the whole distance of the trailer so uh, in the event you want to pull it out, it's a nice night out, what, what have you, uh, you're more than welcome to do so. Just, I ask, if it gets windy, please pull that thing back in because it is considerably expensive to, to replace. Uh, you have an LP, which is liquid propane gas water heater. You also have electric. Um, I will turn the water heater on tomorrow morning, which today is actually Thursday, so Friday morning I will turn the water heater on. So more than likely when you arrive, this will be on. Um, I'll get your water nice and hot, take a shower. Uh, now keep in mind that that uh, camper uh, showers only last 10 15 minutes probably 10 minutes more like a boy scout shower your water pump you will not need to use this switch at all um, that is in case you are not hooked up to water and you've got your tanks full of water if you're going out on a long trip somewhere battery we know that's full as you can see by the indicators that's your we're plugged in fresh water tank is empty um, all these other tanks are empty nothing to worry about there um, but as they become full I will empty them at the end of the weekend nothing you really need to do with it but just the knowledge that they're there uh, here is your thermostat you've got your modes uh, that's cool that's furnace now furnace is propane only so um, in order to turn the propane furnace on you just walk out here and inside of this black case are your propane tanks. Open it up and unscrew it uh, counterclockwise, just like a grill. And uh, that'll turn your propane on. Give it just a quick second. Come back in, fire your furnace up. Should get nice and toasty in there for you. And being that it's a small trailer, it will not take very long to get uh, warm. Here's your master bedroom. Um, the light switch is here. Can't see my camera. The light switch is here, and that will um, obviously turn on your light. You've got a vent in here. Now these are just kind of a mattress cover. This is not sheets. I do require that you bring your own lens. This is kind of a COVID requirement. Um, in here is pass-through storage. You can honestly put a, a bag in there and, and use it for uh, like a laundry chute if you want. These doors close. Take this ribbon off, pull it shut. If you guys are gonna do any cooking, I've got pots and pans in there for you. There's your dinette. So there's some storage up under there in case you need it. Three burner uh, propane cooktop. You've got a nice little night light there, ambiance light. Some more storage. Now this thing is fully equipped, like I had told you. Uh, everything you could possibly want in a camper other than linens. I supply it. Um, when I say she's fully stocked, I mean it's it's the real deal. It's it's completely full. So. Moving on, your 110 fridge. This thing will be nice and cold by the time you arrive Friday, um, which is fantastic. There's your TV and entertainment center, uh, along with your recliners. Now your recliners have handles here. Um, just pull up on them and they recline, and these are the most comfortable seats in the entire world. Um, there's the two bunks in case you want them. Each bunk has a little bit of cubby storage. You've got some baskets back there to throw your stuff in. And each bunk has its own dedicated light. Um, you know, obviously to light things up. There's some games and stuff in here, card games. You know, if, uh, if no one's hanging outside by the horse track or what have you, and you just want something to do, you know, by all means, explore it. Toilet, bathtub, 
Um, and bathroom, this is, I mean, there's nothing really to explain in an RV bathroom. It, it is what it is. It's all the same stuff. The nice thing about this unit is it does have uh, exterior bathroom access. So you don't have to walk in the trailer and get it all dirty while you're um, camping. So back to me. Uh, I'll show you a little bit around the outside. There's not really much you're going to have to do. I've done everything for you. Uh, I do ask that after your reservation that you would remove any trash. Um, take this Swiffer and broom behind me. Just run over the floors real quick and, uh, and call it a day. So hopefully this video doesn't run too long. We're going to run outside real quick. I'll show you kind of the nitty gritty what you need to know. And uh, you guys can enjoy your weekend camping here at the horse park. Okay, looking at the outside of the unit, uh, this is called your campsite, and then obviously the side without the door is your non-campsite. So, um, looking at it, I'm going to go ahead and just flip the camera back around. Um, this thing's going to make all kinds of crazy noises. Uh, it's okay, this is your water heater. It's going to do that. 110 outlet here. Uh, that's in case you want to plug in a TV, and of course there's cable, cable and satellite hookups here as well. This is your furnace outlet. Please keep your fingers away from that as that's going to be hot when the furnace is running. Uh, this is a nice little outdoor kitchen. You may or may not need to use it, <clears throat> but again, you're welcome to, um, you know, full range of the trailer. So, uh, Spray port here. This is just if you need to spray off your feet. The hose is in the pass-through up front. I'll show you that. Uh, these are the steps for the bathroom. Go ahead and get these guys out for you. I apologize. Uh, that way you can step right up in there and as you can see that awning does run the entire length of the trailer and it does come out 20 foot so give you uh give you plenty of room spare tire you're not going to need that while you're here um there's your power this is just uh sewer hose, hose storage you don't really need to do anything with that but if you want to check it out check it out it's unlocked um up in here is your <clears throat> what they consider a water station so your, all your hookups will be in here. Uh, the hose is hooked up right now, but as you can see, it was not long enough to 25 foot. Uh, so I will be bringing you another one. And again, it will be hooked up by the time you arrive here. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. This is all just storage in there. Nothing kind of, uh, nothing important in there. So that's it. And then we're back up front to your propane. So, um, if you do have any questions, uh, my telephone number is 910. 299-2902. Feel free to give me a call at any point throughout the weekend. I'm always available. My phone's always on. Um, so if you need anything, reach out. And uh, other than that, enjoy your weekend. I really appreciate your business. Thank you very much.